guys. So my first nutrition in the environment class was actually yesterday. I'm playing a little bit of catch up. So here goes. Uh, this class might end up being a little controversial for some, so bear with me. Uh, let's see, nutrition in the environment. So the first half of the class uh, made me kind of want to kill myself, not kidding. I just felt like any and all attempts to help the environment were completely and utterly futile. And the second half of the class, I definitely felt a little more uh, hopeful. But what I did learn was about nuclear reactors, which I had no idea about before. So the way a nuclear, the way nuclear energy works is they take a uranium atom and they split it. And in splitting it, an enormous amount of energy is created. And most of that energy actually gets shipped around the world. Very little of it stays in the place where it was actually made. And what's great about nuclear power is that it doesn't give off any emissions. Fantastic. What's sketchy about it is that in splitting the atom, the byproduct is an incredible amount of nuclear waste that's very radioactive, and it stays radioactive for a half-life of, wait for it, 250,000 years. Yeah. And they're just like burying it in the ground and storing it in huge cement towers. So that's iffy. And another thing, nuclear reactors are only meant to run for about 15 to 20 years. I'd have to look that up again because I looked on the internet and it said about 30 to 40 and that they've actually been in use for like 70 to 80. However, I'm sure that my teacher said 15 to 20. Or perhaps she was talking about one very specific one in Pickering. You know, that place really close to the city of Toronto where there's a nuclear reactor that has actually been up and running for over 25 years. So like five to 10, at least that years past when it should have expired and have been shut down. And what's even more ridiculously scary is that if something were to happen, that nuclear waste or that, radi that radioactive waste would reach all the way to Young Street. Young Street, that's like the mid, that's the middle of the city. That's the middle of the city. And apparently there are these pills that you can request. If you live west of Young Street, you can request these pills that are apparently supposed to help you if there's some leak or spill or explosion. So I promise that I'll try to make the next several video blogs about nutrition in the environment much more uplifting. This was just what I learned in the first class.